Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I just wanted to talk for a moment about why the Phantom 3, and in my case the Phantom 3 Professional, because I'm a 4K video guy, all of my cameras on Irix Guy's Adventure Channel, including this drone, are in 4K Ultra HD now. But I wanted to explain why the Phantom 3 Professional is my favorite drone on the market today. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, it's, it's your favorite because it's the newest one, and that's not the case. And I'm going to explain why this is my favorite and it's it's not just because it's the newest so number one the phantom 3 is a uh, actually and if you if you count the interim updates you know because with phantom 2 vision plus for example they had the you know the v2 and then the phantom uh the phantom 2 had the v3 etc so there were there were the original ones and then they released the ones with the upgraded motors and the upgraded controllers but if you're just looking at pure numbers, you had Phantom 1, you had, uh, you had the Phantom Vision, you had the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, you had the Phantom 2, and now you've got the Phantom 3, which you can get the professional like I have here that has 4K, or the uh, Advanced that tops out at 1080p 60, which is twice that of the previous uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus. But the reason this is my favorite is that number one, DJI has started to drop the price. And when you consider, and I know these are expensive and I'm not trying to say they're not, but when you consider the price of this for what you're getting, I mean the Phantom 3 has light bridge built in. And if you're, if you're not yet familiar with drones, what that means is that with a lot of drones, if you have FPV, first person view, you're watching it on a screen and there's probably a lot of it's kind of like using rabbit ears a long time ago. You know, you get the static and it's, it works, but it's not ideal. You know, you can see what's there, but it's not ideal. With the Phantom 3 Professional and the Phantom 3 Advanced, you get a 720p HD first person view. So when it's flying, and obviously you want to fly a line of sight and responsibly and in a safe location, but when you're trying to line up your, uh, your videos and or photos, that 720p HD first person view makes seeing the details more possible. It's just a much greater experience. So from a, uh, from a first person view perspective, uh, that's one of the reasons that the Phantom 3 is my favorite. But ultimately what makes the Phantom 3 the fa my favorite is that, well number one, it's the same platform. So you know they've taken the already excellent size and weight of the Phantom series and they've made it better. And there's, there's an abundance of third-party accessories. Like right here, I have the quick disconnect prop guards. And by the way, you can find the quick disconnect prop guards, the lens filter, everything, the Phantom 3 Pro, the Phantom 3 Advanced, the case. You can find it all within this video's description on, uh, on the uh, 400 or below.com website. But that's another reason I like it is that, you know, they've stuck with a, uh, with a proven platform that performs well. The thing that really gets me with the Phantom 3 that I really love is the camera. Now, I'm a big GoPro guy. I love GoPro. And I'm excited about the GoPro drone that's going to come out in 2016 calendar year. But, with that being said, when you film a video in 4K Ultra HD with this camera, or, or the advanced, if you're filming in 1080p, it's the same scenario, you're not getting that fisheye. And from a non-video or non-photo person's perspective, what is fisheye? The best way to visualize it is kind of a bend in the image. If you look at a video that was filmed with a GoPro with a drone attached to it, with a, with a drone with a GoPro attached to it rather, the previous generation Phantom 2 Vision Plus, or, a, uh, or most any other drone camera for that matter, if you look at the horizon, you'll probably notice a, a kind of weird curvature, and that's fisheye. You look at the same environment that was filmed with a Phantom 3, and you're going to notice that it looks more realistic. You know, you don't have that fisheye distortion. And I'm not saying that's a deal breaker, but when you're looking at the advancement of aerial video, having the fisheye eliminated just makes that video even better. And it's you know, that's what I like to see. I like to see the evolution of, uh, of a technology. And I hope that, it's, it's my hope that DJI never abandons 
the Phantom platform because <laughs> when they announced the Inspire, I was like, oh, well, I thought it was going to be the Phantom 3 when they announced it. And then it came out, and I was like, oh, no. You know, I thought they had totally lost touch with, with their bread and butter, which, in my opinion, is the Phantom. And then they came out with the Phantom 3, and I, I had a smile on my face again because I like it. And, I mean, this thing, you know, the previous Phantoms, they didn't have uh, the ground sensors. This has ground sensors. Not only does this have GPS, which is your global positioning system, the satellites that are up, you know, in orbit, but it has GLONASS. And GLONASS, at a high level, is pretty much a Russian equivalent of GPS. So you're just getting those, you're getting an extra level of precision when you're flying this that you didn't have. And, and granted, the Phantom 2, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the Phantom 1, they were all great. But this is just the next step forward from a technological and performance perspective. And it's not just, oh, Phantom 3 Professional is Iris Guy's favorite drone because it's the latest and greatest. It's not that. But it is my favorite drone because it is the latest and greatest. And it's the, it's the latest refinements to the already excellent technology that's continuing to evolve, in my opinion. I love the Phantom platform. Now, granted, I would like to have something that, that was a lot smaller, but the thing is you've got to think about flight dynamics. And when you get stuff that's too small, it, it becomes an issue. This right here, even though it's, it, it's not large, but obviously when you're carrying it and accessories, you have to carry a somewhat large case. But it's not obnoxiously large like an Inspire or a Hexacopter or something like that. So it's, you know, it's, it's got, uh, it's right on the edge right there from a portability, for, portability perspective, but the main thing is, is the proven performance of the platform and the abundance of uh, third-party accessories that are available and just the overall reliability. And I know there's a lot of people that, that'll say, and granted, some people may have had a bad experience and it's, it's warranted, but uh, there's a lot of people that, uh, that really like to bash the Phantom and the and the DJI support. Now, granted, I've never had to deal with DJI support, so if I had to deal with them, I may feel differently, but my take on this is that with the Phantom 1, the Phantom 2, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and now the Phantom 3 Professional, and I'm not trying to jinx myself, but fortunately, I haven't had a problem yet. And it's, well, I had one problem, it was my own fault. I crashed into a tree. It was piloting error, but that was my own fault. And then I just got another one. I didn't deal with support. So, you know, if you're concerned about the support, you know, that's something I can't comment about because I have not dealt with, uh, with DJI support. But I've heard horror stories. And I don't know if that's just people trying to scare people away from the Phantom or whatever. But without a doubt, and obviously everyone is subject to uh, have their own opinion, but without a doubt, this to me is the best drone on the market today. So if I was buying a drone, if I was buying a drone today, even if you're a new person, you know, never flown a drone before, if you care about video quality, Phantom is where it's at. And the question would be, do you want to future-proof your content and get the professional here that has 4K, which is four times the physical size of 1080p HD video? Or do you just want to save a little bit of money and get the Phantom 3 Advanced, which is going to max out at, at uh, 1080p 60 frames per second, which is plenty awesome. But if you want the 4K, yeah, you know, Phantom 3 Pro. If you don't, Phantom 3 Advanced. But I like to future-proof my content, so, you know, 4K for me, I mean, it was, uh, you know, the Phantom 3 Pro was a, was a no-brainer for me. So, yeah, it's just a wonderful platform, and, and I really can't wait to see. I mean, this is, this is a huge step forward. I would say from all the... Uh, well, obviously, the Phantom One to the, you know, to the Phantom, uh, the Phantom Two Vision Plus, it had the gimbal and uh, and all of that goodness. That was a huge jump. But this, you know, the light bridge and you know, as I mentioned earlier, the vision sensors and the GLONASS, as well as GPS. I mean, it's just, it's crazy to think how much technology is in this form factor, and it's crazy to think, you know, how will this get smaller? And I, and I have tried other drones. I've I really wanted to love the Parrot Bebop, and I got it, and then I got the I got the Parrot Bebop with the Sky Controller, you know, so I could get the longer range. But for me, it just didn't do it. 
It didn't have the uh, the design. I mean, it, it, they had amb they had ambition when they designed it. There's no doubt they put a lot of R and D into it. But where they failed, in my opinion, is that the video just wasn't that great. It would skip. It would you know the software stabilized, and that's what I'm about. I'm about filming uh, entertaining videos. And, you know, and just having a good time in the field. And this is a platform right here that, for me, is able to film the best video. And I had good results with my previous, well, obviously, I had good results with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And you can check out all my videos. I got videos from all these, all these Phantoms that I've owned. But the difference between this and my previous one, which was Phantom 2 that I, that I put a GoPro Hero 4 Black under, the difference between that and this is that I don't get the fisheye in 4K like I did with the uh, uh, with the GoPro Hero 4 Black. So for that reason and everything I just stated, Phantom 3, no contest, is without a doubt my favorite drone on the market at the time of posting this video. So tell me what you think. Share this video with others. Again, check the link within this video's description, 400orbelow.com, because I featured links there to the drones, to the uh, accessories like the quick disconnect prop guards, the CPL filters, ND filters, lens filters, cases, you name it. And if you don't see it, just let me know and I'll see if I can uh, see if I can find links because it's uh, it's a fun hobby. It really is. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.